from your local station. This is a severe weather update. Okay, welcome back. Just to let you know, we did get an official warning now from the National Weather Service. I was talking about the likelihood of that uh, for Vernon Parish, uh, and that has occurred. Uh, and then uh, that goes into uh, the western part of Rapides Parish uh, as well. And so that new warning until 545 uh, Central Daylight Time, we uh, continue to stand with the 530 time for the uh, Grant and uh, South Natchitoches Parish warnings uh, there. So we have this area under severe thunderstorm warnings as a line of uh, potentially severe thunderstorms uh, moving through the area. Uh, right now, looking at the uh, configuration of this, uh, the thing I'm most worried about is the uh, wind, which seems to be punching into the uh, western portion of uh, Vernon Parish, and uh, Barrett's able to put some uh, velocity data on that for us. Uh, we uh, looked at it just a minute ago, uh, and uh, Barrett, we were looking, I think, at the 70 uh, mile hey, power. Uh, Tom, we've we got shear. another update here. Um, okay. National Weather Service from Lake Charles says that they're watching for possible tornado for the Vernon Parish. Rotation is starting to tighten up near the bow apex. Yeah, I think what, what they're talking about is right in here, just not far from uh, Leesville, uh, right in this uh, particular area. And we can kind of see it tightening up uh, there as well uh, on the uh, velocity data. And yeah, that's where it is. And uh, so if you're in that particular area, you need to do several things to safeguard yourself. Uh, you need to stay indoors. Don't get out and try to travel anywhere. And uh, if you're indoors, you need to stay away from windows and you'll be doing your part uh, to safeguard yourself and your family uh, from this uh, pr developing situation. Remember I told you these things can happen fast and it is. In fact, we can see uh, tightening up on the re uh, reflectivity data uh, in that particular area right in there, uh, just to the north of Leesville. And it is moving, looks like pretty much due east. We got another update, Tom. Um, tornado warning will be coming out for Vernon Parish. Possible tornado on radar just northwest of Leesville. Okay, and that's what we're that's what we're on. Uh, possible tornado here. A tornado warning will be forthcoming. Uh, we will have that on when it officially comes down. But go ahead and plan and react uh, to that. Uh, what you should do, uh, and it's going to cover areas uh, probably right along Highway 171 uh, and then points uh, east. Right. I don't know how far east they want to extend that. Whether they're going to extend that into Western Rapids or not, but at least it will be in uh, Vernon Parish, uh, basically from about the Highway 171 right in here uh, and points eastward, and it will probably include uh, the uh, Leesville area uh, as well, and especially some of the areas to the north of that, uh, right along up uh, Highway 117 and probably uh, 468 there. Uh, looking at uh, the radar, uh, again, uh, when the tornado warning comes down, you need to go ahead and prepare to do exactly what I'm saying here. So you need to stay indoors, uh, don't travel, stay away from windows, seek the interior, uh, an interior room, hallway, a small closet that doesn't have an opening to the outside, and you'll be doing your part. Also, stay low. Uh, basement's better, but many homes don't have basements here, and so what you want to do is you want to stay on the ground floor. Don't go upstairs or to the attic or anything like that. And here's that warned area. Uh, as suspected, it's just carrying it right to the Vernon Parish border uh, for now, and that is uh, valid until uh, 515. So it looks like we got about, about another 30 minutes, uh, 20, 30 minutes there uh, for that. Uh, warning again and covering the areas that we told you that it would uh, right there near the Leesville area right along 171 and then points uh, eastward uh, from there. Uh, that of course means that we're seeing the potential for tornado. Uh, this is a developing situation. This is a fluid uh, changing situation. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for this, but we'll continue to follow this. Uh, right there is what we're looking at. Uh, Baird, is there anything coming up on the uh, uh, CC data uh, right now on the dual pole? Uh, correlation coefficient uh, there uh, as far as we can tell. Uh, we'll put this on and um, uh, there's one, Highway 117, there's a Highway 111 going to uh, Anacoco. Uh, this is just north of Leesville. Uh, this is where Highway 28 uh, comes in uh, from the west. Uh, and uh, This again, may be a little too picky, but that. maybe something in there. Yeah, there's, uh, uh, go ahead and query, query and see what the, uh, the value of that is. Uh, and, uh, and see what we have around that, see what we're looking at, see if we're looking at some non-meteorological targets. Or, Point four. Or, uh, okay, that's low, that's, that's a, a non-meteorological target, so we could actually be seeing a tornado on the ground in that particular area right now. Uh, again, things have evolved that way as we saw wind uh, 
uh, sort of bow into Vernon Parish. And once it got to about the Highway 171 there, began to tighten up a circulation. And I think that's what we're seeing uh, right in this particular area. Uh, I'm not saying there's a tornado on the ground, uh, but I've definitely seen better tornadoes on the ground. Uh, the last time was uh, December 16th, uh, and you remember that one uh, closer to home here in Rapids Parish, but we're watching that one uh, as well for the potential that there could be a tornado on the ground there uh, just north of Highway 28 West and northeast of Leesville and between uh, just to the east of Highway 117 uh, in that particular area. Uh, pretty rural countryside uh, there, uh, so no large uh, urban areas. In fact, uh, Again, that's rural countryside, and uh, that's good news uh, because there's not a lot of damage targets there. In fact, in case that is a uh, tornadic signature, uh, we continue to see the reflectivity uh, kind of showing that notch there, uh, and uh, that continues to move toward the east. Very high uh, rainfall rates with that. Uh, here's the update uh, from the Doppler radar. This is coming from the uh, Fort Polk Doppler radar. Uh, still punching eastward along Highway 8 there uh, and uh, Highway 28. Uh, comes in and uh, you call Highway 828 there. Uh, Bayou Drive, uh, northeast of Leesville, uh, is where we're looking at very heavy uh, reflectivity into Leesville. It's just a blinding rainstorm, blowing rainstorm there uh, with that. And that moves uh, off to the east. Uh, we continue to see this move uh, east of Highway 117, uh, continue to move uh, along uh, the uh, velocity data. Uh, still looking at uh, putting, uh, go ahead and put it in motion, Barrett, and see how this. Uh, changes with the velocity data uh, that we're looking at here. Uh, we see still that uh, area that we're kind of suspect. It looks like it's weakened a little bit to me uh, there. Uh, so anyway, we've got that uh, going on uh, in Vernon Parish. Uh, we'll continue to follow that. Uh, and you can see also a surge of wind uh, associated with that, and all this uh, warned area. So in this tornado warning, uh, area, uh, there could be a couple of things that are significant happen. One, there could be a tornado, and there could be a tornado on the ground. There is some evidence that it is. Uh, we did see a rapid changes uh, with a, perhaps a developing circulation. Uh, the correlation coefficient was consistent with some non-meteorological targets there. Uh, and But you can also get uh, non-tornadic damaging wind uh, from the thunderstorm, from a gust front surge, or uh, a meso vortex is what, exactly what this could be uh, happening here. Uh, so all these things are on the table and it, it's all kind of similar. They can all cause uh, property damage, they can all cause fatalities, and they can cause injuries. Uh, so that's why you want to observe your tornado rules. Again, put as many walls between you and the outdoors as possible uh, and that will safeguard you. The best thing to do there is to be in the a uh, small interior room such as a bathroom or a closet or a hallway uh, that uh, doesn't have uh, openings to the uh, outside. You can do that. Uh, we're also looking at uh, safety rules of not travel. Uh, don't travel in the warned area uh, until things improve there. Uh, and of course, stay away from windows. Now, if danger appears imminent, then what you want to do is duck and cover. Uh, jump under a heavy piece of furniture or into the bathtub or something, something uh, to protect yourself, maybe with a mattress or a pillow or something like that if you're in this tornado warned area. Uh, Hicks is in a path of this uh, as we continue to see this move. In fact, I'm, I'm saying that uh, all of Vernon Parish uh, in that warned area, uh, east of Highway 171 and uh, probably north of Fort Polk, uh, and uh, north of the, the Parish line, I guess, uh, into that warned area. Uh, not quite into Rapids uh, just yet, but we'll watch this very closely. And if you're in Western Rapids Parish, you need to go ahead and start uh, putting together a game plan because this could be into your area uh, in the not too distant future. Uh, in fact, uh, by uh, 24 minutes from now, uh, this could be into the Seeper area, an ex uh, extreme uh, western portion of uh, Rapids Parish. And so that's what we're looking at uh, with that. Looking upstream now, we continue to follow this uh, rain band uh, through uh, Grant Parish, uh, and that has prompted this severe thunderstorm warning uh, until uh, 545. And of course, we're also looking at flood warnings along the Mississippi River. Uh, and convection has increased. If you're in a Voiles Parish and some of these parishes to the east, convection has increased there. And we're watching that area for severe potential as well. You're in a tornado watch until 10 p.m. tonight there. Continue to watch this uh, in Vernon Parish. Uh, we see that uh, continue to move toward the east. Uh, Barry, go ahead and get a real close-up shot there and uh, see what we can uh, see as far as some highways 
uh, and uh, things like that uh, in that particular area. Well, we're looking at, um, again, Highway 28 West uh, coming in uh, from this direction. Uh, we're looking at Slagle, uh, which is uh, close to this area. Uh, we're also in the warned area. We're also looking at uh, all along Highway 28 West uh, in that tornado warned area, uh, North Fort Polk. We're also looking at uh, areas to the east, uh, all the way, as I said, again, to the Rapids Parish border. Uh, latest update with the radar shows, uh, again, that torrential blinding rain continuing in uh, Leesville. We're also looking at uh, the notch, uh, not as well defined there, uh, circuit light tighten up, the, the road sign there is probably in the way a little bit of a seeing a, a better idea of the circulation. But nonetheless, uh, we can still see this surging eastward uh, along uh, Highway 28 and the Highway 8 right there just to the east of Leesville, uh, east of uh, 171 uh, and, uh, and uh, 117. So again, that's the area that you need to be practicing your safety rules putting your walls between you and the outdoors, staying low, uh, preparing for duck and cover if necessary, staying away from windows, and obviously uh, not traveling uh, in this warned area until this thing settles down. So here's hey, a tornado uh, warned area. Yes. Tom, I'm gonna cut you off uh, real quick. Uh, looks like we have a new uh, warning issued by the uh, National Weather Service out of Lake Charles, a severe thunderstorm warning for Beauregard uh, Parish until uh, 5:45. As uh, Barrett takes a look at that, yeah. on okay. our uh, radar. Uh, this is a new warning from uh, for Beauregard Parish until 5:45. Uh, there'll be a hail and wind uh, threat uh, with that. Uh, that's holding south of uh, and southwest of Dritter down toward De Quincey, uh, Fields, Singer, and some of those areas uh, there. Uh, so. Uh, for you folks uh, who are watching there, uh, that is what you're up against. Uh, stay indoors, don't travel, stay away from windows. Uh, same thing that's going on back up into uh, Vernon Parish where we've got the tornado warning. You've got to do these things to safeguard yourself uh, and uh, those uh, who depend on you. Uh, looking at the radar situation, we continue to see this signature plow eastward uh, into eastern Vernon uh, Parish now. Uh, this severe thunderstorm warning, uh, uh, tornado warning until uh, 530, which is about 26 more minutes there. And you can see this is moving fairly quickly. Uh, my guess is probably 40 to 50 miles per hour. Uh, 40. Through through uh, Vernon Parish, okay, 40 miles per hour according to the weather service. And we're still seeing that little notch and still that little uh, feature right there, that uh, suspicious looking feature uh, that could be associated with uh, damaging wind or, or a tornado. Uh, we're extrapolating this out about uh, 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 at about a 40 mile per hour speed. If this continues to move at the same speed uh, and the same direction, we see these uh, areas uh, to the uh, to the left of me here, uh, dry prong uh, after 508. Uh, this is right all along the line. Uh, dry prong, Simpson is in the way, uh, Boyce, Pollock, Seeper, Ball, Tioga, Alexander, Samtown, uh, even as far east maybe as Jonesville, as the northern part of this extrapolates uh, toward Jonesville uh, within about uh, an hour. And uh, so this gives you an idea of who might be affected. And if you're in these areas, we may not have your uh, town mentioned, uh, because of uh, limitations as far as how much uh, we can uh, put on a graphic. But uh, if you're uh, in these areas, uh, like for example, Pineville's not uh, specifically uh, mentioned, but uh, if you're in Pineville, keep your eyes off to the west and keep it, uh, your uh, ears and eyes peeled to uh, us uh, and we'll keep you informed as to what's going on here. Uh, Pineville this is, should be in it now. This is the, uh, again, this is another uh, polygon as to uh, the area that will be swept out by this line uh, within the next hour based on its current speed and direction of movement. Uh, Simpson, Boyce, Pollock, Gina, Tioga, Alexandria, uh, Melder, Woodworth, Jonesville, and of course the Poland community and uh, Pineville uh, as well uh, in this. So uh, much of Rapids Parish now uh, could start to see some uh, severe weather uh, if this holds together. Now remember, these things can strengthen and they can weaken. Uh, you know that. Uh, so we'll continue to monitor this and uh, see what's happening there as far as our uh, weather watches and weather warnings are concerned. Um, look, that's coming closer to the Fort Polk radar. Uh, you can still see there's a good velocity uh, surge, a uh, wind surge out, out ahead of that. Uh, looks to me, uh, Barrett, I don't know if you agree, but I think you will, that uh, 
uh, looks like we're not seeing this as well organized as we did earlier. Uh, yeah, I definitely agree. And you can kind of tell mm -hmm. that right in here um, as we head into, as it head, went into the Leesville, you can start to see that little correlation coefficient there with the negative four that we, uh, with the uh, negative point four that we were talking about just north of Leesville. And if you follow that throughout time, you can tell that it does diminish here right around five o'clock and beyond right there. <laughs> Yeah, um, the correlation coefficient is, is a relative needed product for the dual pol polarization radars. Uh, what we look at there is being able to distinguish between meteorological targets like rain or hail uh, to non-meteorological targets like uh, pieces of homes or tree or something uh, moving around. And uh, that correlation coefficient does a pretty good job of uh, differentiating some of that. And that's what we were looking at there. And uh, I agree with Barrett that that, that signature has uh, decreased of course, uh, in the uh, past uh, few minutes. Uh, but again, it can decrease and it can increase. Uh, these things are all over the place as far as the intensity uh, because the atmosphere is not homogeneous. Uh, this is going to go through areas where the uh, conditions for severe weather, uh, tornadoes or hail or whatever, uh, are better and worse. And it will change intensity as it does so. Uh, as it moves from west uh, to uh, east. So we continue to see this move in through uh, Vernon Parish from the eastern sections of Vernon Parish. Uh, the wind bearing down on Simpson right now, uh, right in the rural areas uh, south of Simpson between there and Fort Polk. Uh, this is plowing eastward into the eastern part of uh, Vernon Parish. Reflectivity uh, still indicating a little bit of a notch uh, right there, but the velocity data are not supporting a well-organized system. Uh, if we had a tornado there on the ground when it was farther to the west near newer Leesville, just to the north of Leesville, uh, it doesn't look like it's producing that uh, at least right now. Uh, but again, it's still something to be uh, to contend with, to, to be aware of, and to prepare for, uh, because this is still able to produce maybe some damaging wind. Uh, in your area as it continues to head toward the east. Uh, the tornado warning still up right to the uh, border with Rapids Parish until about uh, 5.30 uh, p.m. And so we continue to monitor this uh, through some of these uh, areas in uh, eastern Vernon Parish. Uh, the uh, hail, most likely points for hail uh, would be to the north there across the northern part of the parish. And uh, right now, I, I don't think that's one of the more significant things as far as this particular storm is concerned. Uh, it doesn't look like very large hail, but there could be some just uh, for your uh, edification for uh, the sake of completeness. Uh, we did see a couple of reports of some wind damage uh, areas to the north of us uh, from this line as it moved through uh, from, well, actually out, it was actually ahead of this line, and then this line came through. Uh, it's moving at a pretty good clip through, uh, looking things improving considerably back uh, in the city of Natchez. Uh, earlier. Uh, big, uh, big line coming through there uh, produced a lot of wind uh, and uh, heavy rain, but things have improved and all that is moving through Grant Parish and uh, prompting the uh, severe thunderstorm warnings there. Uh, areas to the east continue to see uh, convection develop there and move off to the northeast. Uh, that may become something severe uh, once it crosses the Mississippi River, uh, something for our friends in Mississippi to watch. Uh, so uh, we do continue to have uh, warnings. Hey, uh, uh, looks Tom? like. Uh, a new warning for LaSalle Paris, it looks like. Tom, I'm going to uh, give you a little break there. I've seen in the chat here, uh, first of all, the uh, tornado warning we've been watching very closely in Vernon Parish is quickly moving off to the east, and there's uh, possible golf ball sized hail with that particular storm. And also, the Lake Charles office of the National Weather Service has also said that they are getting ready to issue. Um, Looks like another tornado warning to replace the expiring warning in the chat. So we're waiting on more information on that, but that's kind of a quick update of uh, what um, the National Weather Service out of Lake Charles is saying. So this is a obviously a dangerous storm and you wanna be making sure you're seeking shelter and uh, finding that safe space quickly and as safely as you can. It looks like we just picked up a new warning for Wilkeson County, Mississippi, uh, over uh, to the uh, west of us, uh, right there in the southwest corner of Mississippi, south of uh, Natchez. Right. Uh, let's take a look at our Doppler 5. We continue to see this line move through, but uh, uh, I think what we're seeing here is a uh, little bit of a decrease uh, in the reflectivity intensity. Barrett, do you see that? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. um, that can be good news, uh, but it can also be bad news. One thing is uh, the lower rainfall rates 
uh, that's good from the standpoint of flash flooding. But one thing that also happens is uh, once these things weaken, that energy that was producing rain now can produce wind. Uh, so you know, it's kind of a, a double-edged sword if you'll catch 22. Uh, Doppler 5 in high definition still following this uh, tornado warning uh, in eastern Vernon Parish. Uh, things are surging through Simpson right now uh, out of the west and the northwest and you can see that this is quickly approaching the uh, Vernon Rapids Parish border. We're seeing some new convection develop out across uh, the northwest part of the parish out of course, uh, Coat Hill, uh, Rotomaker, the Brain Energy Center right in there, uh, and that is going to be heading across into the Boyce area and cross Highway 1 uh, in that area. Uh, that is not tornadic, uh, but we're watch, watch it just in case. I don't think they'll prompt a tornado warning anytime soon. We're watching this in Grant Parish uh, affecting areas from Colfax through Dry Prong. We're also looking at this moving up toward the northeast and toward the Georgetown, it's rocking and rolling pretty good in Georgetown right now with uh, extremely heavy rainfall. Tullis uh, into the core of this uh, very heavy rain as well as Ala and uh, then points northward uh, in uh, to uh, the uh, Columbia area. Uh, so this is this line is organized. There's also a cell to the south right here uh, that uh, has prompted a warning uh, for the uh, southwest part of Beauregard Parish. Uh, for the potential for some hail and some strong wind uh, over in that area, uh, this particular cell. Now, I think that cell will stay south of the Alexandria Pineville Metro. Uh, if you're in the Alexandria Pineville Metro, what we'll have to watch there uh, would be the cells coming in from uh, Vernon Parish, uh, Grant, and uh, Natchitoches Parish. Uh, so in this area, uh, I think uh, this particular cell uh, is probably not in our forecast. Uh, looking back uh, into the uh, tornado warned area, uh, we see Got the uh, tornado warning till 545 uh, uh, into, uh, looks like uh, now it is extending into the extreme western part of Rapids Parish. Is that a change, Baird? Or, uh, yeah, it's a new uh, one that uh, came out, yes. It's a new one that came yeah, out, and um, it's for southwestern Rapids Parish and east central Vernon Parish until 545. Uh, radar indicated rotation hazard would be a tornado along with golf ball size hail moving east at 50 miles an hour. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, because when they originally put that out, it was valid until 545, but it only went to the Grant Parish, uh, went to the Rapids and Vernon Parish border. Uh, so uh, anyway, they, they've extended into the extreme western part of Rapids Parish, but they kept the same time frame at uh, 545. So that was the National Weather Service in Lake Charles. Uh, so anyway, the, the bottom line is that this storm continues to move eastward through uh, the eastern part of uh, Vernon Parish now, uh, heading in toward the Hicks community uh, where the Fort Polk radar uh, is, uh, lives, uh, and of course uh, moving through Fort Polk itself, uh, and then points uh, north and east from there. It's passed through Simpson, uh, coming in through Highway 28 to Highway 121, uh, getting a blinding rainstorm there and a blowing wind, uh, blowing rain. Uh, looking at the velocity, uh, looking at the uh, signatures here we don't see anything on a reflectivity that's too concerning uh, just a little bit of a, a notch there uh, again that's the Hicks community uh, next in line will be La Camp uh, and then from there will be Leander uh, in uh, Eastern Vernon Parish all of they, those little towns uh, municipalities uh, communities there uh, right down uh, Highway uh, 121 so if you're in that area stay indoors don't travel stay away from windows get centrally located on the lowest floor and you'll be doing your part uh, to safeguard yourself in case this gets worse. Uh, we're still looking at the potential for uh, wind damage. We're also looking at, of course, the tornado warning, which means that there could be a tornado in this. We think there may have been one uh, when it was over toward the Leesville area. It was circ circulation was tightening up and uh, we figured that the tornado warning was forthcoming. The weather service did come through with that uh, and now that is continuing to move into the eastern part of the parish and uh, indications are it will cross the Vernon Rapids Parish border uh, and uh, bring that uh, tornado threat into the extreme uh, western part of Rapids Parish. Uh, so the camp, Leander, Seeper, and Calcasieu uh, within about the next uh, 20 minutes uh, may be affected by this uh, particular storm system as it moves fairly quickly off to the east. So if you're in those areas, again, you need to observe the safety rules. You need to uh, stay low. Don't go up to the attic or second floor. You don't need to be out, outdoors. You don't, don't travel. Uh, you need to be indoors. Uh, you need to be on the first floor. You need to be uh, protected. Put the walls between you and the outdoors and uh, those type things. And if danger is particularly imminent, you need to do 
the duct and cover. The only thing we see happening there now would be some ind individual cell right there. Uh, but again, the main action is still to the west of you to come. As we see the radar sweeping through that uh, particular area as this convective line uh, continues to progress uh, east and uh, southeast uh, through these areas, prompting severe thunderstorm warnings up and down the line here, as well as the tornado warning here for uh, Vernon and the extreme western side of uh, Rapids Parish, just across, uh, just near the Rapids Vernon border there. This cell prompting a warning for uh, Beauregard Parish, and of course, uh, looking at the uh, Allen Parish, not much happening there. Uh, Beauregard, you're awaiting this particular storm going into Evangeline Parish, uh, not much happening there. Uh, so some parishes are virtually unaffected uh, by this. Others have been rocking and rolling most of the day with warnings or rain uh, or uh, some have experienced wind damage and so forth. Uh, looking at the severe thunderstorm warning, there's uh, in Beauregard Parish. Uh, and we don't want to forget it is 70 mile power wind gusts with a uh, quarter size hail, so it's pretty yeah. high. Yeah, there's uh, potential for some strong wind uh, in that cell uh, above the uh, standard 60 miles per hour. I think Barrett said 70 as that moves uh, in. Uh, you, I can tell by the shape there that uh, uh, if you look at the shape of this, uh, it is uh, kind of, I wouldn't really call that a bow, but I would call that kind of a, a blob that uh, extends uh, away from it, so it, it indicates to me that there's some momentum uh, coming from that storm, uh, and once it comes down, it accelerates as it hits the ground uh, and spreads out. So, a severe thunderstorm warning for that part of Beauregard Parish. Going back up into uh, Eastern Vernon, uh, we continue this uh, getting kind of mixed up with the Fort Polk radar there. Uh, there's a little bit of a blind spot with Doppler radars right around the site itself, so that can kind of distort the view a little bit there, but it is right on top of the Hicks uh, community and the uh, uh, site, uh, Fort Polk radar, Doppler radar site there, uh, continuing to move toward the east. Uh, we're also seeing uh, the weakness in the uh, reflectivity returns, but I think that's due to attenuation by the Fort Polk radar having to uh, move through heavy rainfall to see this precipitation back up uh, to the northeast of it. So uh, right now, I don't think that's weakening. Uh, looking at the velocity data, and uh, we continue to see uh, velocity uh, uh, surging in, then we kind of lose it in the blind spot of the radar there, but we'll pick it up again but once it gets just past the uh, Fort Polk radar. Usually the blind spot's only a few miles uh, in radius. Velocity data is still showing uh, areas to the northeast where the wind continues to surge in uh, from the northwest. And let's see, we're looking at, uh, in fact, a pretty good reflectivity now in the northwest part of Rapids Parish. And uh, no, no warning for Rapids yet as far as uh, a severe thunderstorm warning, I guess, uh, for that part of the parish. I guess we have the tornado warning still there, but uh, uh, I don't know, it's, it's coming out of the northwest, uh, could prompt another warning, or it may not. Uh, we're, we're looking at that uh, possibility. Hey, uh, uh, looks Tom, like real the, quick. Yeah, uh, it looks like an update here. Yeah, so a couple of updates from the, from the chat. First and foremost, uh, looks like they're continuing that severe thunderstorm warning for Borgar Parish until 545. We've covered that, but they also have reported um, trees uprooted and a roof blown off a house in the Leesville area from that particular cell that we're following really closely. But if we go to the northeast in uh, LaSalle Parish, there's another severe thunderstorm warning out until 6 p.m. And that particular cell in northeastern central Louisiana is moving off to the east at uh, 45 miles per hour. It has 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. Uh, let's see. So multiple warnings at once and uh, that tornado warning does look like it's continuing for Eastern Vernon Parish. We're keeping an eye on that very closely. So multiple severe thunderstorm warnings to our northeast, and then this tornado warning that goes until 5:45 um, into looks like western, the western half of Rapids Parish at this time. Okay. So the tornado warning now has been extended deeper into Rapids Parish uh, from the west. Uh, that update uh, based on this particular storm moving through eastern Vernon Parish uh, has prompted the warning uh, earlier uh, when it was in the Leesville area. A quick uh, increase and a quick uh, circulation development there once it was just to the north of uh, Leesville. And you heard Tyler indicating that the Weather Service has said that there's a, a damage report there. Uh, so this continues to move uh, uh, to the east. Uh, let's get a little closer look, Baird, and, and see exactly who's affected there uh, by the tornado warning. And uh, so if you're along uh, Highway 121, uh, 
that includes the folks who live along Highway 121 in uh, Eastern Vernon Parish and in Western Rapids Parish. We're looking at Highway 485. Uh, we're looking at the Heinston community. We're looking at Seeper. We're also looking in Vernon Parish for uh, Leander. Uh, we're looking at the Otis community uh, and uh, uh, south of there, again, toward Heinston. Uh, you head farther to the south on Highway 112. All you folks are in this tornado warned area. Uh, again, if you can hear my voice telling you that you're in the tornado warned area, you need to be doing your safeguards uh, there. Uh, Melder community, uh, Highway 488, uh, and uh, looking all up in toward uh, Oak Hill and going up Highway 488 till we finally get uh, into the, close to the Alexandria Pineville Metro. Officially, right now, the Alexandria Pineville Metro is not in this tornado warning. You can see it stops right just to the west of town, but any subsequent updates may put the metro area into the warned area, uh, but you can see it's in the western part of uh, the parish. And uh, let's see if there are any other towns there, uh, Bear. I think we went over them pretty well there. Uh, Oak Hill, so if you're in the Oak Hill area, uh, we have that going on. Uh, we're looking at uh, the Highway uh, 277, uh, Hap Smith Road, uh, and some of those areas. Uh, looking at, uh, uh, we mentioned Seeper uh, along uh, Highway 465. Uh, again, uh, one, Highway 121, Highway 438, one, 121 there going into Heinston. Uh, so again, if you're in that area in Western Rapids and you know where you're at, uh, you need to hunker down. It's time to respect this storm because we do have a damage report around Leesville and it could have been a tornado there. And remember, as I said, the atmosphere is not homogeneous. Uh, there are large differences in uh, the instability, there are, lot, there are differences in the wind shear and those type of things that a storm can make a tornado from over a horizontal distance from a point A somewhere in Vernon Parish to a point B somewhere in Rapids Parish. And the storm can fluctuate in intensity. It can get stronger, then it can weaken, then it can re-strengthen and get weaker again. It can go through a tornadic phase, non-tornadic and then back to a tornadic phase. And so that's why we have to continue to watch these things and see what they're ha what's happened because things can change uh, so quickly over small distances. And you know that's how weather uh, behaves. The uh, velocity data indicating that some of this higher velocity uh, wind is now getting into uh, the western portion of uh, Rapids Parish. Uh, the Doppler radar in Fort Polk uh, evidently is still operating, uh, so it didn't take uh, too bad a hit, I guess. Uh, otherwise, it may have lost power or it may have got disabled or something like that. So uh, this is good news uh, that we're seeing the, the radar still able to pick up the storm so that we can see that. We're also looking at maybe some higher velocity uh, wind up back toward uh, Colfax and uh, Boyce in the northwest corner of uh, Rapids Parish. And I, I don't think that's a warned area, is it? Uh, maybe it should be. Uh, as far as a severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, so uh, again, uh, we're also looking at uh, the tornado warning to 545 and until uh, okay. six o'clock, severe thunderstorm, thunderstorm warning for LaSalle Parish. Uh, so again, uh, into the uh, western part of uh, Rapides Parish. Uh, we mentioned all those highways. Bear, uh, zoom in there again, and let's go through that uh, just in case folks miss it the first time as to who, who's uh, affected there in the Western Rapids uh, with this tornado warning uh, for about uh, 20 more minutes. Uh, again, uh, Seeper, Otis Communities, uh, this is up toward Hempfield along Highway 28 West. Uh, Gardner uh, is very close to that uh, and uh, on the northern side. Uh, and then heading toward the uh, east, uh, looks like, of course, Oak Hill, 488, uh, and then right up toward the uh, Highway 28 West, and then going southward, uh, we're going into the uh, Otis, Otis Melder Road, um, and uh, we're going toward the areas to the south and to the west, uh, where we're finding uh, East River Road uh, in this uh, tornado warned area there, uh, in the uh, Calcasieu, uh, Melder communities. Uh, we're also looking at uh, those areas toward uh, Leander uh, in uh, eastern uh, Vernon Parish. Uh, so uh, again, you know that uh, territory, hunker down, observe your safety rules, tell friends and neighbors. Uh, if you have time to contact them, send them a text on Facebook or call or make a brief call or something. Uh, tell them that maybe if they're not keeping up with the weather, uh, they should be because you're under a tornado warning in those areas that we just mentioned in Western Rapids Parish, and they better get to a safe place uh, because this has produced some damage uh, in the Leesville area. We don't know if it was a tornado then, but it could have been. We had some evidence that there may have been a tornado. Uh, it looked like it might have been brief, uh, but 
Uh, there is some evidence, I think, that we were looking at on radar that could have been. And that moves to the east. Remember how weather fluctuates. This can go up and down in strength, tornado, non-tornadic, and back to tornadic. Uh, so this is what we're up against here in Rapids Parish, western Rapids Parish, and eastern Vernon still, as this warning continues for about uh, 20 more minutes. Uh, so we're continuing to watch this for you and, uh, and just kind of keep you updated. Uh, anything else that we're looking at, I think uh, we, we've pretty much covered the uh, other warnings, uh, so we're pretty well focused on this as this line continues to move uh, into uh, Rapids Parish. Uh, there could still be some, uh, there's still some strong winds associated with this line. Uh, so even if you're not in the tornado worn area, hey, Tom. Uh, you can still have some strong wind. Okay, Tyler, what you got? Sorry to cut you off, but um, we're looking at the chat very closely and we have, uh, if we can navigate up to northeastern central Louisiana, line of storms moving in towards uh, Catahoula, Concordia, and surrounding parishes. They're gonna uh, issue a severe thunderstorm warning. And it looks like the Jackson office has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Catahoula and Concordia parishes until 6.30 p.m. Looking at the hazards here, 60 mile per hour wind gusts and nickel sized hail. So if you live in the Northeastern Concordia Parish area, the Catahoula Parish area uh, as well. Uh, for about the next hour, make sure you find your safe space as uh, quickly and as safely as you can. This particular, these particular thunderstorms in Northeastern Central Louisiana are moving quickly off to the east at 60, mile per, uh, 60 miles per hour. And again, possible damaging winds of 60 mile, 60 mile per hour winds and nickel size hail with this particular uh, cell in uh, northeastern central Louisiana and it looks like another update for that tornado warning in Rapids and Vernon they have officially canceled it uh, that was going until 545 so at the moment we have a bunch of severe thunderstorm warnings uh, yes, Barrett? still 70 mile power wind gusts and a half dollar size hail is still the criteria for it so even though um, there's no tornado warning out there it's still a dangerous storm Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's that's good news, guys, because uh, we'd rather have a, if we've got to have a warning, we'd rather have a severe thunderstorm warning than a tornado warning. I think you'd agree with that. Yes. But that still does mean that there's potential for high wind uh, with this particular storm, uh, and uh, again, uh, potential for a little hail. Uh, and always remember the heavy rain and the lightning dangers uh, with these particular storms. So the severe thunderstorm warning now, formerly a tornado warning, now a severe thunderstorm warning. So the news is a little better for you folks uh, here in Eastern Vernon and uh, Western Rapids as this line continues to move uh, eastward. Uh, but we'll, we're not gonna let our guard down. Uh, we're gonna continue to monitor this uh, because as I said, you know how weather is, uh, it changes drastically over small scale areas, uh, point A to point B, short distance, you can have vastly different weather. Uh, looking at the velocity data, uh, we still see the wind uh, moving into Western Rapids Parish, and it doesn't look as well organized to me as it did earlier when it was back off to the west, moving into Vernon Parish, uh, moving into Sabine, Natchez, and Grant Parish as it was moving through there. It just doesn't look as well organized uh, here down this way. Now, if you go up farther to the northeast, uh, I can see a little bit better organization uh, and some higher velocities with that. And, and that has prompted the warnings there uh, in that area from the uh, Shreveport and uh, Jackson offices of the National Weather Service. So I think there's uh, some, gonna be some ground truth to that uh, as we watch that uh, particular uh, velocity uh, display there. As you can see, the wind surging pretty well as it moves to the east uh, and to the southeast there. Uh, and so uh, we also have a hail threat with some of this, uh, but I think right now the wind is the main thing Looking to the east in Avoyles, not too much happening there. We've seen some off and on scattered showers and thunderstorms. Uh, we do see some more rain moving through there uh, with some occasional thunder. Uh, much of the heavier weather now is right along and east of the Mississippi River. I'm afraid that may become more severe as it heads uh, eastbound later this evening. Uh, and then for us, the dominant mechanism here is this convective line which extends all the way through central Louisiana uh, from LaSalle Parish all the way through uh, into Vernon and southeast Texas. Uh, this is a uh, kind of a polygon that we can outline for you uh, showing you the uh, 
if it continues moving in the same speed and same direction as it is now, uh, these are some of the locations uh, that are uh, impacted there. Uh, Alexandria, Harrisonburg, Jonesville, we'll be looking at uh, even into the center point community there and the northwest of Wallace Parish by that time, uh, by about six o'clock. We're also looking at the polling community fair day uh, on the north side of this uh, by just after six o'clock, uh, Waterproof, Natchez, Mississippi, Stanton, and Fayette. Uh, on the north side by uh, 645. Uh, so you see there's a broad area and that's the way these things are. That's their configuration is uh, many times you get warned uh, severe thunderstorm warnings over very large areas uh, because these linear convective systems are, uh, are extensive. Uh, but these linear convective systems can also become kind of non-linear or, or wavy at times uh, and uh, that is sometimes, is, I think, is what we were looking at over in the Leesville area that prompted that initial tornado warning and that initial damage report uh, and the possibility of a tornado over there. Uh, small scale vortices uh, can, can spin up along these lines and you can get those type of what we call meso vortex uh, tornadoes. Uh, looking at the severe thunderstorm warning until six o'clock there up in LaSalle Parish. Uh, also this one down in uh, Rapides. We're also looking at the Vernon Parish uh, as well uh, and uh, Grant Parish uh, with the warnings uh, also. Um. Tom, I do want to want to say something that um, these severe thunderstorm warnings are for northeastern parishes that do include LaSalle and also parts of Wynn, parts of Catahoula and Concordia. Um, in general, I know it may look a little confusing to uh, some viewers, but in general, you can expect in those areas to see 60 mile per hour wind gusts along with quarter size hail in these northeastern areas. And then once you go a little further to the south um, and west with this one down in here, which is parts of Vernon and Rapides Parish. It's basically the same with the hail, but you do increase those wind speeds from 60 to 70 miles an hour. So once again, this one in Rapides Parish is actually the stronger of these storms that we have out there. Okay. I do also want to point out real quick that uh, I was just looking at my radar scope app and of course the Doppler 5 HD radar. You notice very heavy rainfall with this particular line of showers and thunderstorms and looking at uh, one of our uh, observation websites, if you will, when we collect temperatures and rainfall, uh, off to our west, there's multiple reports of over two inches of rain falling from this line. So uh, not entirely ruled out to see possibly some isolated flooding with this particular line that's pushing eastward uh, right now with all of these warnings. So I just wanted to point that out that uh, certainly some uh, heavy downpours are occurring as well. Yeah, that, that's a good point, Tyler. And, and in fact, uh, if you notice, uh, this is coming in toward the uh, uh, metro uh, right now. Heavier precipitation already back off to the northwest of us. Uh, I'd say one to three inches uh, has already occurred there, uh, maybe more uh, in some areas with that second line already moving through. Uh, go through the uh, reflectivity data, Barrett. We can see this line once again uh, moving uh, into the metro area. And you know, uh, cities, urban areas, uh, and flash floods uh, don't mix, all right? Uh, we see these rainfall rates, uh, very high rainfall rates. Uh, so this is one of the things I want to talk to folks uh, as well about uh, staying indoors, staying home and not traveling uh, during this. Uh, so if you're planning to go somewhere, don't do it right now. Uh, wait until this gets safely through the area uh, in an, uh, an hour or two. Uh, let this get through the area because I think we're going to have a, a very heavy rainfall. There'll be some blowing rain. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, let's see, Tyler, you can do something for me while I'm explaining this. Uh, check uh, AEX and see what their peak gust has been so far, if they've got sure. their, some of their reports in. Uh, yeah, I've noticed that uh, we got some very, very dark, threatening skies approaching the station yeah. as we speak right now into the metro uh, with this line moving through. But I am going to look at the wind gusts real quick. Okay, and so this will be coming into the cities and will produce uh, some uh, very heavy rainfall. Uh, probably, I'm sure we would probably get over an inch of rain and we'd get it very quickly. We could get two inches of rain and that would be in less than an hour's time. Uh, so the rainfall rates uh, are one of the most dangerous things to urban areas. So many times we put too much uh, focus on the 24 hour amounts or something like that. Well, that doesn't really have that much sometimes to do with flash flooding. Uh, so, you know, urban areas are more prone to flash flooding 
uh, than uh, non-urban areas. So that's something here in the cities we're going to have to watch. I'd say stay home. Uh, don't try to go out this evening uh, as this line comes through. Uh, velocity data still showing well-defined uh, cores of some, some strong wind there. Uh, still justifying the uh, severe thunderstorm warning for us. Uh, so with this heavy rain, there'll be a blowing rain, uh, be wind associated with it uh, as well, and perhaps uh, damaging wind. Uh, we're still looking at the National Weather Service uh, interpreting uh, up to 70 miles per hour. Now most of you probably won't get that, uh, but there's that potential uh, for that much wind in some local small scale areas. Remember, that's the other thing. Your outcome with these things can vary largely. Some of you would just get a hard blowing rain uh, with 30 mile per hour winds. Some of you may get 50 mile per hour winds and others uh, may get uh, up to the 60 or maybe the 70 mile per hour wind. But the higher wind uh, you go up the scale, the fewer people I think that will be affected. And that's a kind of a rule in general for these types of uh, systems. Uh, and that's the good news is that uh, the worst weather is in a, a smaller amount of location. But uh, most folks will get some strong wind from this. Uh, you might uh, say, hey, what if we lose power? Well, you might plan for that uh, as that continues to plow toward uh, the cities. Uh, power outages may be uh, something that happens there, uh, as well as uh, these other areas up in LaSalle Parish and Grant and uh, Vernon Parish. I'm sure there's already been some power outages uh, with this as it's uh, continued to move through. So that's something to consider uh, as well. I think these are wind reports uh, that we've got there. Uh, trees were uprooted and uh, roofs are blown off there uh, over in uh, looks like uh, the uh, Vernon Parish area. Yeah, the Leesville one, yeah. And uh, that is the uh, initial damage report that prompted, uh, well, it actually didn't prompt the tornado, the tornado uh, warning was out before that uh, report came, came out. So that may be justification that we could be looking at a possible tornado there. And here's the one in Grant Parish. Yeah, okay, well, the trees down in the Kasachi Forest off uh, Forest Service Road to 131. Now, that's a possible tornado. That's what I was talking about up in uh, near the Georgetown area. That and this area right here near Flora uh, community south of Natchez and Natchez Parish. You can see uh, eyeballing that. That's a pretty straight uh, west to east uh, uh, jaunt right there. And the same storm system here moved across North Grant and prompted a tornado warning. We could be dealing with a possible tornado there, and we could be dealing with that possible tornado around the uh, Georgetown area uh, as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, Barrett and I were looking at that uh, in the Georgetown area earlier this afternoon, uh, not, not the current storm, but the one earlier this afternoon. We saw a fairly decent, um, perhaps a debris signature on the uh, CC uh, dual pole uh, signature. So and this one's the middle one that you see. Yeah, yeah, that's the Florida uh, community. In fact, there's a series of damage reports all around that community there, which leads me to believe that something may be a little bit more uh, significant than just a thunderstorm wind happening. It's called thunderstorm wind right now, but it will be investigated. Uh, the National Weather Service in Shreveport will come down to that area. They're going to look through it, investigate it, and see if it was thunderstorm wind or if it was an actual tornado. Uh, and the same thing here. Uh, with the uh, Florida community there. Uh, going into uh, Sabine Parish, we also have over the northern part of Sabine Parish, uh, we had some damage reports uh, there uh, across uh, the northern part of Sabine. Uh, in fact, uh, indications are that uh, that may have been a widespread uh, situation. Uh, here's what the, uh, the text says from that. Uh, trees down all over northern Sabine Parish and near the Converse area uh, leads me to believe that there's just more than one isolated uh, event there uh, in uh, the northern part of Sabine Parish. Uh, so uh, in contrast to Easter Sunday, uh, when we had a similar situation, we had a, a, a significant risk of severe weather. I think we had about 10 warnings issued uh, by the National Weather Service offices. And uh, with a lot of work, we, we couldn't find any ground truth of damage from wind or hail or tornado or anything like that. Uh, but what we're finding here is already some damage reports. Uh, and so we've actually seen a little bit of a reality uh, potential becoming reality in this situation. Still some rotation with these uh, sail. It, it's uh, kind of shallow and, and weaker rotation, but it always needs to be watched because it can spin up quickly. Uh, these little tornadoes along the uh, leading edge of these bands, uh, they can form very quickly. It kind of reminds me of hurricane-induced tornadoes in a way in the fact that uh, they, they can spin up and develop uh, quite quickly uh, because of the enhanced shear uh, in those areas. It just kind of works with the updraft and spins them up uh, and uh, they can happen very quickly. Hey, uh, Tom, real quick, uh, yeah. you, you had me check on the AX wind observations. I checked on weather.gov and I didn't see anything, but I'm noticing here at the station, 
We're starting to have gusts of over 20 miles per hour, mainly to the north. And so far we've picked up uh, eight hundredths of an inch of rain, but wouldn't be shocked if we get quite a bit more with this line moving through. And taking a look at uh, the latest uh, information on the chat here, um, looks like they are going to continue this current tornado watch uh, that's in effect until uh, 10 p.m. tonight. And let's see, more information from the National Weather Service out of Lake Charles. They say, uh, at this time, do not anticipate reissuing the two severes that are currently in effect. We'll most likely update Rapids Parish with a significant weather advisory, as well as the cell moving into Beauregard uh, Parish. So that's a couple updates for you, as things are definitely getting breezy out there um, here at the station and kind of scattered across central Louisiana as well. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, some of that is good news. Uh, if, if we can downgrade yes. the uh, current uh, severe thunderstorm warning for Rapids uh, to a significant advisory, uh, that's uh, uh, not as high a level uh, of uh, threat, uh, if you will. It's still, uh, you know, still bad weather, but uh, for now, th uh, the warning remains. Uh, it hasn't been officially taken down to a, uh, a significant weather advisory uh, just yet. So uh, don't let your guard down. Uh, we still have potential for strong wind. Heavy rain now moving into the uh, Alexander Pablo Metro. Also for this particular, I think T Tyler said this one will, may go to a significant weather advisory there down in uh, Beauregard Parish. Yes. And uh, that's yep. good news, good news for our friends and neighbors uh, down in uh, that area. Uh, looking over into Allen Parish, uh, a few showers there. Avoyles Parish, we got some pretty good rain move through Bunky just now. Uh, and, now it's uh, starting to pour here in the metro as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're seeing an increase in the uh, rainfall rates here uh, locally already. But, I, you know, I just don't think the rain is just as heavy uh, here uh, as it was back up uh, in the Natchitoches and Leesville areas. I mean, it just seemed like it was a torrential rain there. Uh, and uh, now we're going to get very heavy rain here. I don't want to underestimate it. Uh, and it will cause, it may cause some street uh, flooding or some ponding of water on the streets. So that's why I'm advising uh, don't get out in this and travel because uh, you don't want to get into something you can't handle uh, in the metro. So uh, we're just now here at your local station hearing the big drops uh, hit the roof uh, and uh, that will increase uh, before it gets better. Uh, velocity data, uh, still some windy conditions uh, moving through the area and uh, still probably, I would say, 40 to 60 mile per hour wind gust uh, will still be possible with some of this. That could, uh, could still down some trees and branches. That can down some power lines and uh, take folks uh, power out uh, with it. I wouldn't think it might uh, be widespread, but uh, it certainly could be a possibility there as that moves through the uh, metro area. And uh, again, the, probably the main thing I wanna mention is to just stay home uh, and don't travel in, in this. Uh, things may improve a little bit later. Although some of our computer models are indicating once this gets through, uh, the atmosphere may be able to refuel just a bit uh, and a final piece of energy on the back side of this disturbance aloft that's moving through uh, will uh, maybe cause another band of some rain and some thunderstorms later on this evening. Uh, and that will be the final uh, event. That would happen sometime uh, probably after 7 p.m. Uh, 7 to 10 p.m., something like that, if it happens at all. Some computer models were just hinting at that, but they've been consistent at that, and that does make sense. Uh, that happened last uh, Easter Sunday when we had convection in East Texas uh, throw out a, a pretty good uh, outflow boundary that prompted additional warnings as far south as Natchitoches Parish uh, in that event. So uh, that's something that we could uh, watch out and, for there. And I do want to mention that this over here in southeast and Grant Parish in the circle that I drew, our radar is actually picking up up to 70 mile per hour wind gust. Okay. That, along that. Uh, I do want to also mention uh, in the chat here uh, that the NWS office in Shreveport is continuing that severe thunderstorm warning uh, for Grant and LaSalle parishes until uh, 6 p.m. And it looks like Lake Charles office has now issued a significant weather advisory for portions of Rapids and Avoyles until 6.30. As far as wind gusts are concerned here at the station, we've gotten up to about 23, 24 miles per hour out of the, out of the north uh, the last few minutes, so things have certainly gotten pretty breezy. Uh, and of course, rain picking up as well. Yeah, and uh, n nothing against us here at Channel 5, but our, our wind instrument, I think, is a little bit slow to respond. So uh, my experience with it is if it says 25, uh, it's, it's over 30. Okay, so yeah, the, you're actually right, Tom. I'm looking at the latest observation at AEX, and it says gusts of 35 
uh, yeah. knots okay. right now. 30, now, 35 knots uh, puts us right about 40 miles per hour. So, right. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's 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 more in line with the the wind type of wind that most folks are going to experience with this. But remember, there'll be those pockets uh, that could experience wind higher than 40, higher than 50, and even up maybe to that 60 to 70 uh, range that that we've been talking about uh, in these uh, warnings. But the the fact that the weather service uh, went downscale from a severe thunderstorm warning to a significant weather advisory uh, for Western Rapids Parish. Uh, is, is good news. That means that they think that the storm has weakened some, but it can still be strong. Uh, it can be st still some strong wind, as we said, uh, heavy rain. Uh, here in the city, we're getting heavy rain that could cause some street flooding or some, uh, some drainage issues there. As you know, it happens in urban areas. So uh, just stay home uh, for a while until things improve, maybe later on this evening. Uh, I do want to also mention that up in the uh, Natchez, Mississippi area, uh, the Jackson office out of Lake Charles is, um, they're not issuing a warning, but they are saying a strong thunderstorm will affect uh, east central portions of Adams uh, County until 615. Uh, dime size hail and winds in excess of over 40 are possible with that particular storm over the next half hour. The, of the warnings and we'll, we'll take a survey of that. Uh, I think in our immediate viewing area, uh, we're, we're uh, out of the warnings uh, for now, but we have a warning up in the Saw Parish and, and the points east, like uh, Tyler was talking about. So I think what we're going to do uh, is uh, go ahead and, and uh, kind of let the coverage go for a while and, and uh, uh, regroup a little bit, collect information uh, and uh, things like that. Uh, but remember, we don't let our guard down. Uh, we're going to continue to monitor the situation. There could be additional warnings uh, that occur uh, along that line and points south uh, and east. Uh, as the evening progresses, and uh, we'll keep you informed about that. Thanks for your viewership.